scattered all around, and boxers were competing heavily on the local scene. Among the hopeful was the late Robert Wangila. Fighting out of the blue corner, wearing the red trunks with gray trim, he also weighs an even 150 pounds. Originally from Nairobi, Kenya, but now fighting for the Las Vegas Gloves in Las Vegas, Nevada, he's undefeated as a professional with a record of 6-0, three KOs. Ladies and gentlemen, the 1988 Olympic gold medalist in the welterweight division, Robert Kidwangila. Today, let's gather around the ringside. There, around the red and blue ropes that guard the history of the great and fearless men of this beloved nation, does the name Robert Wangila ring a bell in your mind? From the ant hills at the feet of a eucalyptus tree in Busia in some random agricultural farm, this is where I first heard the name Robert Wangila, courtesy of Jack Oyo Sylvester, who was commentating a football match and he happened to mention the name. The late Robert Wangila's story is one of boldness, first watching and learning, then trying and perfecting, underrated by where he started. This is the story of one, if not the greatest, in the history of boxing in our country. Anyway, let me sink you into the story of an eyewitness. This is a story told by Samuel Otieno, aka Hitman, the current Kenyan boxing referee and a judge, a close friend of the late Robert Wangila, the only Kenyan to bag an Olympic gold medal. So I mean it was Samuel Otieno. I'm a hitman. For Sasa I mean referee or boxing. Referee and judge or boxing. I'm a boxing from Tango 1976. When Lianza boxing. Tukiwa vijana wadogo. Tulianzia mbotela social hall, tukiona rafiki yangu, Robert Wangila na wengine, vijana wengine wengi. Around 15 guys. Wengi wakawacha na si tukaendelea, mimi na Wangila tukaendelea. And as you can see, Wangila has knocked out half of his six opponents. Robert Wangila, Napuni, has the distinction of being the only African ever to win an Olympic gold medal in boxing. He is also the only Kenyan to have won Olympic gold in a sport other than athletics. Well, Wangila has good power in that right. His problem is defense. When he puts his punches together and keeps his head down, Wangila is a good young fighter. Something that Tommy Brooks is working on with Robert Wangila. Trying to, down he goes for a right hand, a chopping right hand. He was born in Nairobi on September 3rd, 1967. Wangila was well known as Roba in the Jericho neighborhood where he grew up. He started his boxing career with the Kenya Breweries Boxing Club after earning a job there as a truck driver. Wangila Lianzia Mbotela Social Hall under coach Alex Asima. Marem, the Alkoa coach Wake Wapwanga, Kamfundisha Boxing. Akacheza Nairobi Novices, Jericho Social Hall. Akaibuka mshindi. Flyweight. Akapanda, akakuja lightweight. Na hapo ndi alianzia motela. marafiki tangu tuwe watoto wadogo vijana wadogo tumekuwa nae tukiishi mtaa wa Mbotela post office quarters next to government quarters wazazi wake walikuwa mzazi wake alikuwa anafanya kazi na Nairobi City Council na babake alikuwa anafanya na post office yes But in 1986, he was already considered the best welterweight boxer in Kenya at age 21. 
His nickname Napuni was inherited from another famous Kenyan boxer, Modesty Napuni Oduori, who was Wangela's cousin. We boxing the social boxing club. Under coach Alex, under coach Henry, Henry Ndeda. I can say that you are Bahati, and the Biaka Alcone to a guy, a guy Mirkao, Alcoa coach your body. Kafana Mazesi body to Kakisha Club, your body, which is a which is a Nairobi County Inter Halls. So Kacheze Apo, Wangila Kandiko Kazina Post Office. No moment captured this glorious era more than the fourth All-African Games of 1987. Keep in mind that in those days, the All-Africa Games were a premier event to which the entire continent of Africa paid attention. In 1987, he won a gold medal at the 4th All-African Games with a scintillating display of power punching. At the Seoul Olympics of 1988, he became the first African ever to win an Olympic gold medal in boxing when he beat Frenchman Laurent Boudani in an exhilarating final. A right cross in the third round sent Boudani crashing to the canvas resulting in a TKO. Had he not knocked out the Frenchman, he probably would have lost on points, considering how biased judges were in those days. Aka Akacheza Michezo za Novices Intermediate na Kenya Open na kakua bingu wa Kenya, lightweight. Walicheza na solo the ambo, lightweight. Aka mshinda, uwe likuwa champ by then, akakuwa champion wa lightweight. Kutoka hapo, aka wacha railways, akaenda KPA, Mombasa. Alicheza, alikuwa bingu wa after kuwa bingu wa, wa lightweight, alitua katika michezo za Olympics za 1980. Zilikuwa huko Los Angeles, 1984. Indeed, Wangila possessed a powerful right jab and was known as one of the hardest hitters at the Olympics. As an amateur, Wangila had an amazing record of 165 wins and only 5 losses. Akashinda mabingu wa wote wa lightweight, aliwashinda wote. Kina Kalili, ndi alikuwa bingwa by then, akamshinda kwa trials za Olympics. Lakini makoch, walo alikuwa national team wakasema bado, aja tosha ku kuwakilisha Kenya Olympics 1984. Wakamdrop kwa sport, wakasema kwa polished enough, kuenda Olympics 84, Las Vegas. Akabaki ya kumeki yo team ilienda huko. Akabaki akaendelea na mazoezi baada ya 4 years down the line akakuja tena kaibuka kuwa champion wa Kenya welterweight akichezea KPA akatoka KPA Mombasa akarudi Nairobi akachezea club ya KCC Hiyo ni in between 84 85 86 hapo 87 akachezea club ya KCC akaona akiwa na club ya KCC Ata saidika na ata pata dream yake ya kuenda Olympics. Kwa kisha Kenya kwa michezo za Olympics. Haka toka KCC, hakaenda Kenya Breweries. Coach wake wa Breweries alikuwa na hituwa Charles Sajimbi, ambayo pia alikuwa national coach. So, walipo ingia Breweries. Trials za Olympics za 1988. Welterweight, haka shinda. Na haka make team ya Kenya kuenda Olympics. 1988, huko... Korea. And when Kenya hosted this event in 1987, the entire country was engrossed. Kenya sent eight boxers into the boxing finals held at the Kenyatta International Conference Center. That day, the hit squad put on an exhilarating performance of power punching, quick feet, stylish moves, and accurate punching that overwhelmed all the opponents.
All eight members of this hit squad won their matches, thus netting eight gold medals as the partisan local crowd went into a near delirium. Even cabinet minister then, the late Robert Uko, who was in attendance, could not hold back his exhilaration as he leapt up and down the dais each time a Kenyan won. Kenya's gold medalists on that occasion were light welterweight David D.K. Kamau, who beat To Edros Michiku of Ethiopia, bantamweight Stephen Mwema, who beat Ndaba Dube of Zimbabwe, featherweight Patrick Montwaweru, who beat Charles Lubulwa of Uganda, Lightweight John Wanjao who beat Haritora Rapotamanga of Madagascar. Light flyweight Morris Miner who beat Emmanuel Subuga of Uganda. Mohamed Bodi Urungi who beat Martin Nogle of Nigeria. Welterweight Robert Wangila who beat Sahelu Mekuria of Ethiopia. And super heavyweight Chris Odera who beat Shibalala Kadima of Zaire. Ambaya Lienda Korea, Akiwa National Team Naka Kilisha. Akeza kupata nishani ya medali ya, ya dhaabu, Korea, 1988. That was when the mention of the Kenyan boxing team would send shivers down the spines of other countries and sheer raptures to Kenyan boxing fans and Kenyans in general. The Kenyan boxing team, aka the hit squad, was a source of pride. Teta kitoka wa Olympics, kwa siyo Korea alikuja Kenya. Na ule promoter alikuwa naitua Akbar Mohamed wa USA top rank. Wakamfuata wakaja naye hapa Kenya, wakakaa chini wakaongea, wakaandika maka contract, akasign contract na hiyo fami yao ya top rank ya boxing. So wali sign hiyo contract na chini ya lawyer. Lawyer alikuwa anaitwa Mtunga. Willy Mtunga ndiye alikuwa lawyer wake, akasign contract na watu wa top rank. Started vomiting and then collapsed into a coma in the dressing room. At the hospital doctors discovered a large blood clot on the right side of Wangila's head, according to Dr. Albert Kapana, who performed surgery Saturday morning. Napunyi was placed on a life support system immediately after the operation. He was pronounced dead 36 hours after the match. Wako mtu wako give up. 1984 alipokuwa denied ile nafasi ya kuenda Olympics na ndienda alikuwa meshinda madungo wote wa lightweight, haku give up. Alikuja tu akafuatilia dream yake of four years down the line baada hiyo 84 na ingine ite ite akakuja na kaibuka mshindi wa welterweight akaenda kukuwa me give up na hakuwa mtu wa give up alikuwa mtu wa kufuatilia mambo yake na alikuwa mtu serious sana kwa mambo ya sports na hata kikazi na nini tulikuwa nafanya hakuwa mtu wa give up na kuluzo ndio sababu alipo shindi wa kwenda alipo drop yo 1980 lightweight champion kwenda olympics 1984 I could give up. Though you may ask, how on earth did our boxing team start registering these sickening results? Kenya's performance at the 2018 Commonwealth Games boxing competition was the worst ever. Kenya sent a team of 10 boxers. Seven of them lost their opening bouts. Only three won their opening bouts, but then promptly lost their second bouts. So in total, Kenya won three matches. It is the second lowest ever. The worst was 2002 when Kenya only sent four boxers. Kenya's only medal, a bronze, was won by Christine Ongare in the diluted women's section, where boxers need only win one match in order to win a medal. Kudos to Ongare for putting on a valiant fight. <laughs> Kenya finished in 13th place with their sole bronze medal. England topped the boxing medal chart with six gold medals. India was second with three gold medals. No, that was not a typo. India won three gold medals, three silver, and three bronze medals. Kenya used to be Commonwealth Games boxing champions. The best performances by Kenya came in 1987, 1982, and 1990 when they topped the charts with three gold medals, winning as many as 18 bouts. In fact, at the 1982 Commonwealth Games, Kenyan boxers won more medals than their athletics counterparts. Why did Kenya have such a good boxing team during this era? The lack of international exposure for our national team boxers. Uh, 
gap. Uh, federation by then 